What is going on YouTube? Welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be finally doing part two of the 0 to 100k series. I know it's late. I do apologize for that. I've been out of town all week sorting out some problems with some property I've got up north. But that's all sorted now so I can finally record part two for you guys. Now before we get started I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's joined the free Facebook group. I think I had seven or eight people join over the last couple of days which is totally awesome. If you are interested, then first link in the description and hopefully see you guys on the inside. Now that being said, let's get into the video. Welcome to step two then guys. If you haven't seen step one, then I'll put a pop up somewhere in the video in one of the corners. Um, make sure you click on that and watch it if you haven't seen it. Now before we get into step two, we're just going to have a quick recap and just make sure you've got the right things in place before we move on. So looking at our list then, you can see everything that we've covered already. And before we go into the next step, we want to have chosen our product, which we have. That is going to be a golf club groove cleaner. We've established it's going to be a general store. The reason being is we may not pick a winning product first time. So being a general store, it will allow us to pick loads of different products from loads of different niches and test them all. And once we've found a profitable product that's proven, we can then scale that off into its completely own store and create a brand from scratch. Now, I've already decided the store name which is going to be Discount Stoop Store. The reason I've done this behind the scenes is just because I don't want people to get hung up on choosing their name. Don't spend a week or two weeks delaying taking action. Just spend up to an hour maximum picking a general name that is going to tell people what you're all about. Um, it's not critical and it's not going to be the determining factor to whether you succeed or not. So just pick something simple that explains what you're doing and what you're about and that'll be more than enough. Step one of step two then, setting up your Shopify account. Now when you do sign up, you will get a free 14 day trial. Now just so you're aware, I have got a link in my video descriptions. It is an affiliate link. I don't want you to think I'm trying to trick you all or pretend that I'm not. I do get a kickback from it. If you sign up through that link and then go on to purchase a premium plan, I do get a kickback just so you all know. Um, feel free to use it. There's no pressure to use it. You can just go directly to shopify.co.uk and you will still get the free 14 day trial. Now, whether you use the link or not, um, it will take you to Shopify's homepage. And what we're gonna do is just click on this top right button, get started, and we'll put in these three details. It's all fairly self-explanatory. So, Jack Kitchener 458 at gmail.com. That's also the email. If any of you guys got any questions at all, feel free to email me. Uh, password. And we're gonna call in our store discount superstore. Ah, store name with that name already exists. So if this happens to you, just have a play around. I usually put the word online just in front of your name. Again, quite a generic term, but it still tells people what we're about. So that one's available online discount superstore. So once you've found a name that isn't taken, we're gonna go ahead and click create your store. We're going to save that so we don't have to put it in every time. Wait for this to finish loading. Once you've done that, it's going to take you to a few series of questions that you have to answer. They're all fairly self-explanatory, so I'm just going to go through these quite quickly. Just for the sake of this video, I want to try and keep it as short and as informative as possible. So, are you already selling? We're not. I'm not selling products yet. Do you have something to sell? Yes, have a product that will be ready. What is your current revenue? Zero dollars, I'm just getting started. And next, so Jack Kitchener, street address, I'll put my business address in. Shopfire Limited, Foxby, why isn't that filled in? Foxby Lane Business, Business Park. Games we're doing. Now you do have to put a phone number in, so I'm going to put this in and then click enter my store. So once you put your phone number in and click enter my store, this is where it's going to take you. This is your home screen, also known as the back end of your store. This is where you're going to do everything in terms of managing your store. Moving on then, step two is adding products. The reason we're going to do this before choosing a theme is just because when we are choosing and comparing our themes, we want to be comparing the different product pages and you can't look at the product page until you've got product on your store. 
product page is the most important page on our website to begin with. Our ads are going to be sending people straight there. So when we're looking at themes, we want the product page that's going to be the best. So you can add a product through this Shopify backend. However, we want it linked through an app called Oberlo. Oberlo is what we're going to use to link Shopify to AliExpress and it's going to allow us to drop ship our products and create our orders and fulfill our orders all through Oberlo. So what we're going to do is click on the app section over here on the left and would you look at that first one on there. So if you click on Oberlo it will take you to the app store and the Oberlo page. Feel free to watch the video to learn a bit more about it. Um, read through the description. I think they'll have reviews at the bottom too. Uh, but I'm not going to go through this again. I just want to try and keep this video as short as possible um, and as informed as informative as possible. Um, I don't want to bore you guys, so feel free to go through that if you want. And all we're going to do is click on the get button over here. This is going to load up and it should come up with the permission screen. It does. Um, feel free to just carry on and click install app. So once you've installed the app then, this is where it's going to take you. This is the Oberlo dashboard. This is where we're going to do everything Oberlo related. Now Oberlo is a great piece of software. It bridges the gap between AliExpress and Shopify. It's going to save you so much time in the end. So take some time, get to know how to use it. Uh, for the sake of this video and this series, I don't want the videos to be too long. So I'm not going to be going too much into depth. Um, if you do want me to do a video purely in Oberlo, then I'm happy to do so. Let me know. Comment below. Uh, that being said then, we're going to add our first product. Now, there's a number of ways to do this. The best way to do it is through the Chrome extension. So if you haven't got it, then just head over to Google and put in Oberlo Chrome extension. It will be the top one, hopefully. Uh, da -da -da. This is what it's going to look like. Just make sure you add it to Chrome. Uh, it's just going to make importing products so much easier, which is what we're going to do next. So once you've got that installed, then we'll go to AliExpress. Find your product from the supplier you want to buy it from, which we've both decided. Uh, filter by orders, and we're going to go with the supplier with the most orders. Um, if you've seen the first part of the series, then you know we've already picked both of these. So what we're going to do is click on this little icon here and we should get a little pop up. There we go. Product imported successfully. So if we head back to Oberlo, uh, if you head on this second one here, it also creates a sub menu. I'm going to click on import list and it should be there waiting for us. It is. So what we're going to do here now then is create our product page through Oberlo. And once we've done that, we're going to click import to store and that's going to create the product listing within our Shopify backend. So first things first then, change title. We're going to keep this simple and straight to the point. So it's a golf club groove cleanup collections. We haven't created any product collections yet, so we'll leave that blank type and tags so what this is going to do what this means is when people if you have a search bar on your website and people put in search certain keywords sorry then this will bring up this product so if someone searches so we want to put golf in both of these so if anyone searches the words golf it's going to bring up this product next drop down then description now the amount of people that ask me to look at their Shopify store and in their product descriptions is whatever this is. Um, it's not. It's just not effective. You need to put some thought and some time into this um, and keep it uniform throughout your store. So what I'm going to do here, because I'm lazy, is just use the product description that I use on all my stores. Uh, so we'll find a product. Feel free to do the same as well, guys. Head over to this site and just copy and paste this if you want to. So what we're going to do is copy and paste it into this box here and then we're going to adapt it to fit the product. So I must have for every golfer. This first line then what you want to do is create a problem and a quick solution just so people have something to read very quickly and know exactly what it does. So uh, are your golf clubs looking tired? rusty and no longer spinning the ball 
this golf club groover will solve that problem. So straight away, the customer that comes on and reads that knows exactly what the product is doing. This next bit then, it's just an opportunity to go into a bit more detail and perhaps convince the customer even further. So, buying a new set of clubs every year can be costly and unpractical. Fucking spell practical. Um, buying this groove cleaner can give you the same benefits at a fraction of the cost. There's no size guide, so we'll leave that design. Uh, in fact, what we'll do here is we'll go back to AliExpress, see what the supplier has put, and see if there's anything we can take from this. Once it loads. Um, so here's the features. Don't copy and paste it. Make sure you put it in manually. Otherwise, it will use the same font and it just won't work uniform-wise. You want your product pages to look slick and uniform throughout your site. So um, we can put dimensions in there. In fact, what have we got here? So again, delete if they're not appropriate. Designs, three modes. So what's the first thing we can put then? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six edges to suit all clubs. So what I've done then guys is just to try and save a bit of time really, I've paused the video and filled this all in. Um, just so I didn't want to bore you all and I want to keep this as short as possible. I don't want you watching me think about what I need to put. Um, hopefully you get the gist of what you need to do. Just try and create like a need or a want within the customer. So just try and put as many features and benefits of your products as possible. So as you can see, these are the ones I've added. Um, next point then, no suitable, that should be not suitable obviously. Uh, no problem, return to us within 30 days. We've got the trust badge down here of the 30 day money back guarantee. So we just want to reinstall that and commit to it more importantly. So make sure you keep the trust badges as well. They're there for a reason. They just create that impression that we're a legit and safe company to buy from. Now it doesn't, we haven't copy and pasted it across. And what that is, is the shipping times. Um, going back to my store, these are kept in stock within the UK. So I like to advertise that fact because people do like a quick delivery and you don't want to shy away from this either. You want to keep customers completely, you want to be completely upfront with them and honest about what your shipping time is because the last thing you want is people charge, um, doing chargebacks and PayPal disputes. So I usually put this at the bottom of the page just so it's the last thing that they read so it's fresh in their minds and then they can't argue the fact that you were dishonest about how long it's going to arrive. So I'll just put usually something along the lines of shipping method is ePacket and shipping time is two to four weeks. And that's it guys, that is your product page. Moving on then, we've got our variants. And then guys, we've got our variants page. So this is where we can edit the details of a variant individually. Uh, it can be very handy if you've got a product that's got loads and loads of variants. Um, we've only got six. Uh, I'll just run through the columns very quickly then. So obviously we've got the images for the different variants. This is a SKU. Now, unless you're stuck in the items yourself um, and you get and you become quite a large company, then ignore that. It's not relevant at this point. Color. Now this is what will be visible when listed on your site. So just make sure these match the images and that they're uniform. Um, next then cost. Now just be aware this is the cost of the product on AliExpress but it doesn't include the shipping cost. Now you've got two columns here for price. 
This is if you want to run a sale, you compare that price is what the sale price is going to be. Um, we're not going to start with the sale price just yet, so we're just going to put all prices to a new value of, and we're going to start with $14.99 on this product. Um, because we're not running the sale, just leave that as it is, it's not important. Moving on to images then. Now as you can see some of the images have like a green border around and with a tick whatever ones you leave ticked are what are going to be imported to your store. So Oblo usually does quite a good job of picking the most relevant images but just go through have a quick scan and just make sure you include the images that you want to. So this is quite a good images image sorry because it shows the product in use shows what people have to do to use it. This is quite good because it shows the size. These aren't relevant, so we shouldn't include these. And that is our product details completed on iBelow. So the next thing we're going to do is click on import to store. And once you see the green tick, then it's done. Depending on how many variants you've got, it might take a bit longer. And now what we're going to do is head over to our back end click on products and hopefully we should see it listed here. So once your products page has loaded then, this is what you're gonna see. This is where all your products will be listed. So what we're gonna do is just click on the product to make sure everything's imported over correctly. Um, just quick, have a quick scan through, make sure everything looks like it should be. And what we're gonna do is just check the order of the images because Depending on what image is in this box here, that's the image that the customer is going to see if they're looking at like a, a list of products or a collection of products. It's also going to be the first image on the screen when that product page opens. So depending on what you want it to be, you can just click and drag and put the right image in the place. So I'm a fan of this image. Straight away, someone looking at it can see what the tool is and what it does. So I'll probably have that as the main image. Uh, and once you've satisfied yourself, we can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is choosing a theme. Choosing a theme then. Now, a couple of things to consider here. Just keep it simple. You want something that's clean, crisp, and effective. You don't have to dish out on an expensive premium theme. The free ones are more than adequate. You also want to be looking at the product pages more than anything. The, that's the first page your customer is going to see. So that's the one that we need to get right, more important than any other. So what we're going to do is click on Customize Theme. You can also get there by clicking on Online Store. And it will be the first drop down here on the left. The standard theme that everyone starts with is Debut. You can change this by clicking on Exploring Free Themes. This will open this drop box and as you can see it gives you like an overview of the different themes. Um, but before we even consider another one we're just going to check out the standard one. So we're going to click on customize and this is going to take us to our theme editor. This is where we can change things like size of text, size of images, uh, different color schemes, just things like that. Now I could spend hours explaining every button but there's not enough time you guys will probably get bored so I'm only going to show you the mere basics that you need to be doing so these icons at the top then what they're used for is switching between a mobile and desktop view now it's important that we get the product page right for both platforms because at this point we don't know where our customers are we don't know what they're using so we'll use this to check out the product page on both uh, we'll start on desktop and as you can see, because we've already preloaded a product, we can already see what it's going to look like on our website. So if we click on that, it should take us to our product page. Um, and this is what our product page is going to look like. To me, it looks very good from the offset. We've got that main image that we spoke about earlier. Straight away, you can see the title, the price. Uh, we've got the drop down for the different color and the other cart button. Straight away, the customer can see everything they need to. So to me, that's a very fed effective product page. I'm very happy with that. Um, the only thing I probably would change is the add to cart button. I'd have it a brighter color just so the, it attracts the attention of the customer more. So what we're going to do is head over to theme settings, colors, um, as you can see buttons. And if we change this, it should change the color of it. It does. So we're 
Um, if I have blue, that's quite a nice, bright and soft, vibrant color. It's gonna attract the attention, but at the same time, it's not too harsh to make the product page look ugly. Um, we'll click saved to make sure that saves the changes. Now we wanna make sure it looks good on the desktop view as well, on the mobile view, sorry. So we'll click on this little icon here. Have a quick scroll down, see what things look like. And to me, again, it's very clean and crisp and effective. So I'm more than happy with using a debut theme. Um, there is actually one more thing as well that I'd like to check. And that is what happens when you click the add to cart button. And it takes us straight to a cart. So that's a great thing to me. Some people say differently, but personally, I want the checkout process just to be as quick as possible. We live in a world where people get distracted so easily now, and there's just so many different distractions on their phone, their family, their friends, uh, texting, WhatsApping. So my personal opinion is just make it as easy and quick as possible for the customer to check out. Um, and that's all you need to do. Feel free to have a look around the different themes and perhaps pick one that you prefer yourself. Um, but just remember, keep it simple, keep it plain, and most importantly, just keep it easy to navigate and pleasing to the eye. So that being said then, moving on, extra pages you need. Um, this is your pages like your that you'll usually see down here in the end menu. So your about us, your contact us, returns, priority, privacy statement, terms of service. Now, how do we create these? So we'll click on this little icon here. That should bring us back to our home page and if you click on your online store it's going to create this drop down here and what we're going to do is go on pages so the pages we're going to create then are, are about us and FAQ pages now it's important we do these for social proof reasons people aren't going to know who we are they're going to go looking for answers and ways of convince not convincing themselves but just satisfying themselves that we're a legit and safe company so Click on add page, title of the page then, about us, and then this is where we're going to put our information. Now, again, to save a bit of time so you guys haven't got to watch me type it out, I'm just going to take it from an existing store. Feel free to copy and paste it across yourselves, but again, just make sure you adjust it to make it relevant to your site. So we'll put that in there. Uh, I won't bother changing any of that for now. Click save. And then that's created our page. We'll go back and create an FAQ page. FAQ. And again, we'll take that from this one at the top. Copy and paste it in there. Click save. And now what we need to do is make sure these show up in our store. So if we head over to the left and click on navigation, and this is where we choose what pages show up on our site. So we want both of those to be in the footer menu, which is, um, which is this section at the bottom here. So if we click on footer menu, or we can click add menu item. It's gonna be the about us. We want a certain page and about us, click add. We also want to add the FAQ there too. Name FAQ, pages, FAQ, add. Click save. And now what we can do is test to make sure that they have actually shown up. So if you click on this little icon here, that's going to take us to like a preview of our store and if we scroll down to the bottom and there we are about us and FAQ now there are three other pages that we need to create and that is our terms of service our refund policy and our privacy policy so what we're going to do is head over to pages click add page and then if you right click on settings and put open a new tab, because what we're going to do is gen Shopify will let you generate free copies of these and then we need to copy and paste them across. So head on to your settings and then 
if I believe it's on checkout. Scroll right to the bottom, generate sample refund policy, control A, copy, head back to our pages. This is our refund policy. Copy and paste it in there and click save. And then our next one is privacy policy, generate sample. Make sure all the details that you put in at the beginning are correct when you do this, because when you generate them, it adds those details automatically for you. So just make sure they're correct at the time. Privacy policy. Save. Oh, did I save that? And then the last one, add page, which is our terms of service. Terms of service. Click save on that, and that should create all those three. And then again, we need to do the same thing and make sure they're visible, that people can see them and click on them if they need to. So we'll go back to navigation. I'll have these in the footer menu as well. Add menu item. Terms of service. Pages. Why isn't that loaded? Pages. That's strange. We'll do refund policy first then. Maybe it hasn't loaded yet. Refund policy, add that. Privacy statement, was it? Was it privacy statement? Privacy policy, add that. Now, why hasn't our terms of service loaded? Pages, ah, there we go, terms of service. Add those and now we've got all three, click save. And now if we go back to our site preview and click refresh, and there we are, all of those added. So as for extra pages, that's all you need at this point. Uh, so we'll move swiftly on, which is choosing your apps. Choosing apps for your store then guys, now I've done a video of the ones that I use, however, as this is a beginner series, then these are the ones that you need to be using from day one as a minimum. Product reviews and product upsell. Product reviews is developed by Shopify, so it integrates to your store very well. Uh, it's self-explanatory, it's just a way of displaying product reviews on your product page. Now obviously the more good reviews you've got, the better chance you have of people purchasing, that social proof will be higher and people will be more satisfied satisfied that we're legit and that the product is a good one. So make sure you install that. Product upsell, also I've done a video on this um, which goes into a bit more detail, but to put it simple, it's a way of increasing your average order value overnight, uh, which is in turn is gonna make us more money. So make sure you check them out on the Shopify app store. I'm not gonna go into detail, I'll show you guys how to install them. I've already showed you how to install Obelo. Uh, they're both very easy to do, but uh, of course, any questions, then let me know uh, and I can help you out. Moving on then, product descriptions, we've been through that. Logos and branding. Now, it's up to you guys whether you want to use a proper logo or not. If you're just getting started and you've not got a massive budget, then just simple text of the name of your store is more than adequate. That's all I started with. And then as you start to build your brand or build the size of your company, then you can pay someone to make a logo for you. But like I said, if you've not got a massive budget, just stick with the name of your store in the basic font. Uh, now, if we go back to our store, and as you can see, there's these bits here, which are blank uh, that need images. Now, 
I don't recommend going onto Google and searching for images on there, copy and pasting them. Just a couple of reasons really. Um, number one being the quality might not be great if you have to download them and then upload them onto your store. And number two, just for copyright reasons. Now the place I go, which is completely free, where you get good high quality images, is this website here. It's burst.shopify.com. It's by Shopify themselves. And all the images are free. They're usually quite large as well, so they're high resolution, high quality. So we're in we've got a golf product for example. So if we put golf in here, there's only one photo for golf, but we could click on high resolution. You have to create an account by giving your email, but it's completely free. So that's added it to our downloads now. So guys, once we've downloaded our images then, we need to add them to our store, and how do we do this? So we head over to the theme section under the online store menu, and we click on customize. This is obviously gonna load up our theme editor, and now let's say we wanna put the image at the top in this first section here. So we head over to our sections drop down menu, and as you can see, the sections are listed in order. So we click on the section, we click select image, and now I've already pre-uploaded this image just because it took forever to upload it. I didn't realize how big the image was. So I've pre-uploaded it just so you didn't have to watch it upload in. Now what you can also do is click on free images and you can browse the images that way as well. I usually find using the actual website and downloading them is a bit quicker and, you, and it also means you can keep the original file should you want to do any editing yourself. But again it's completely at your discretion whichever you prefer. Uh, so that's the image we're going with then and then what's good as well is that you can change the text so we can put the heading as golf groove cleaner overlay text so this could be a little bit about the product so bring your club heads back to new and then we can create a button so to take people to the product page, which could be view, view now. Then the button link, click on products and the product that we want. And already our store is taking shape, it's looking a million times better. People who end up on the home page for whatever reason, we can draw their attention to the product that we want and the product page is then only one click away. So as always, make sure you click the save button just so you don't lose any changes. We'll head back to the home page. And these sections here, I'm not gonna show you how to do these as it all works in the same way. So it, the section name is there, image with text, image with text. You can select the image that you want to use. Click select, and it really is that simple. Um, I've, again, any questions at all then I can come back and revisit this uh, but hopefully you guys get the gist the feeling of what you need to do here um, as I said at the beginning the most important page is the product page as that's the page customers are going to be going straight to and that's the basics for store creation now I apologize in advance for all the chopping and changing in scenes I know there's been quite a few um, when watching it back I like to edit out, if I find I start blabbing on about things that aren't important then I usually want to edit it out just because I want to keep the video as short as possible whilst at the same time as informative as possible. If, if I'm talking about something then it's for a reason. So if I find myself blabbing on about something then I'm just going to edit it out. Um, now the last point here is time to make some money. That's all going to be in step three where we cover advertising, it's going to be Facebook ads, campaign objectives, how to do your targeting, how to set your ads up, how to set your ad copy up, just all that good stuff. So if you're still watching then thank you very much. Step 3 will be coming soon. We said 5 likes on the previous video and I believe it's at 16 now which is absolutely awesome. So if we can get 10 likes on this one then step 3 will be on the way. Um, make sure you check out links in the description there's some helpful stuff there uh, especially if you are starting out so check that out make sure you hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video